that's ain't too bad. So we got a call for a Jeep that has a badly bent tie rod up here. It's kind of near the beginning of the maze. So we're gonna head up there, see if we can get them either fixed or get them pulled out of there. We've got Rhett in the driver's seat. That means I'm giving the weather and it is amazing. we've been driving feels like a while i don't know 20 30 minutes yeah we've got another probably 15 to go maybe 20 minutes all right i think we spotted the customer they are right there All right, this isn't much of an obstacle for the record. It'll just crawl right down that. All right, this is the damage. We got a tie rod with a pretty good bow in it. This truck back here. That's good right there, just kill it for a second. We're gonna straighten this out and weld it straight. You're gonna drive it out of here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get this here. Well, I don't have a hydraulic line, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, oh, you broke something else? Yeah, the hydraulic line and all the... I mean, I have more fluid, but this broke off right here in but the process. But it still drive out, right? I mean, I guess well, it's... You no, don't because it won't your, hold any. Yeah, you don't we want to burn We could cap your... this line, or else it'll burn the steering box out. Oh, uh, yeah, I did not get that memo that you were Sorry. disabled. Yeah. yeah in another way it was leaking and then as we were going back and forth and tried to just tighten that down it, it just bowed up it got hit on the yeah if we can cap it we're off. good to go well it's broke it's broken off, off the, the hydro line yeah. yeah all right well we'll pack it out of here how good is this bumper it's pretty good <laughs> okay i think it can hold it all right oh <clears throat> my corazon ouch what? Some of you are saying some really nasty things about me and my crew on the internet. I want to see you at the games so we can settle this once and for all by having a nice debate of the pros and cons of your opinion. See you at the games. Well, that changes everything, but at least we got what we need to, for you. to pack it out. This is your Jeep, right? Yep. Okay, let's get you in it. Okay. Doing Jeep things. Okay. Basically, you mean Jeep things as in brakes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you're probably going to want to put it in too high because okay. it's just not going to matter now. Yep. We've just got to get on the main road. We'll go down. Let's go down the funnel. Okay. Once we get this up out of here, kind of on level ground, we're going to cross tie this to keep it from wobbling. wobbling. Okay. But as for right now, we're just... And then my job is just to stay on the brakes so I don't ram into you? Yeah, just control, just control that motion. Okay, okay jump in it. Let's okay. get going. Should be pretty easy. It's just straightforward. How's that going overall? Pretty good. I think I have pretty good brake power, actually. Okay. So we're just going to cross you up to kind of control what we can control. 
So this will help keep it from swinging side to side so bad and it'll give it something to pull against so that it can't like stretch way back and then spring forward. So it'll be easier to control for both of us and we'll be able to get it off of here before it gets dark, which is the plan. So I came up here all prime to do a weld repair, but turns out all we needed was to be carried out. <laughs> Luckily we brought the wrecker so we can do that. They forgot to tell me that they had broken a power steering hose and that just made it so welding was not going to solve the problem. This job is going pretty smooth so far. I agree. Sunset's really pretty nice. Yellow, green, kind of an orange. It has a nice pink glow on Pine Valley right over here. It's beautiful. Man, this record looks sick doing what it's doing. That stinger keeps on coming out and just bumping the wreckers, boom. It's keeping the Jeep from hitting the hood though. That's good. Why don't you start it for the next 60 feet so okay. you got more brake control. Okay. And just because we're getting to a steeper part? Yeah, this is the funnel. And okay. it's a pretty good drop right here. Okay. We'll just drop off of it. Go up. You're looking good. Go up just a hair yeah. more. Go up a little more. Okay, that's good. You're you're six inches away from the hood right now. It's going farther away though. Coming off good? Yeah. You good? Yep. That was just hitch. Still, so far so good. All right, we've basically got a little downhill and then a little uphill and then a little downhill and then some twists and turns and some uphill and then we're out of here. Well, like I said, we planned on cutting and welding and having them drive out, but that wasn't gonna happen with a broken hydraulic line. So we hooked up to them and we made the slow, steady maneuver out of there. We got them on the road again. I got my exercise in for the day, so I'm happy. Yeah, he was out there running like a desert deer. So we got a call for a motorcycle that is disabled up on the Rattlesnake Trail. Apparently he took it swimming, can't get it running again, so we're gonna go get it for him. We got Colin. He is my designated driver today. You know when I say that, people are like, oh, Matt's been drinking again. <laughs> Heavily. That's funny. We got Peanut Max and Lady. Those are good dogs. So it is the weekend, and this is weekend crew. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day. A couple of clouds. It's probably about 68 degrees. Beautiful day. We're gonna be picking up the customer at the staging area and bringing them along. It's gonna be a full ride. We'll have, I'll give him the front seat. You might want to. We've got a lot of dogs. Cause I got my dogs back there. You never know. All right, we're here to pick up the customer and then we're gonna head up there. We're gonna go get it. Right here that got you. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I was riding across the rock and I just slipped. Right All right, well, we're putting Colin to work today. Start digging through that noodle of mess. Nothing we can't undo. All right, we got it loaded up. Colin's gonna get it turned around and we are gonna head on out of here. What do you guys think, huh? You wanna get this? Get it, go get it. Save it. That wasn't a very noble effort. Riding in the back seat, running through the river, filming, get, catching the shot. The reason I do this is to stay humble. Staying humble is pretty important. I'm pretty much the best at staying humble that I know of. Did you find their peanut? Colin just chewed me out for spotting him, so I'm not gonna spot him on this next one. Let's see what happens. Right there, that rock. And then I'm just gonna put the camera down like this so he doesn't think I'm filming. Excellent work. That didn't work. This ain't too bad. It. There's Peanut. Let's hold on to this wheel here. All right, I upgraded to the motorcycle seat. We got all three dogs. This will be a good run for them. I know. Well, we had a couple of, couple of viewers of the channel there. All right, we got the puppy dogs loaded on the trailer. Give them a little bit of a break up this hill. We're just out here on the trail, me, Max, Lady, and Peanut, trying to get the shot. If there's one thing I know you love, it's the shot. I think Colin's coming in the banana about now. I'm gonna have to start jogging. That's the worst thing about being a cameraman is all the cross country jogging. He's coming fast. I'm gonna try to see if I can beat Colin down. I'm going off a cross country way. Don't know if it's gonna work or not. I'm headed straight down here while he goes down the trail. I'm gonna have to turn this off so I can really start running. We did it. That was close though. We had to really hustle. What do you think, pups? You ready to be picked up? 
Straight up jog sprinting mountain climbing. Dogs are so excited to get out. They took my, uh, took my weather stripping with them. All right. We're back. All right, we went up there, got it out. Colin did an awesome job driving. Woohoo! And you're back on the road. I'm back on the road. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching. You guys deserve knuckles too.